This is the inside of the cab of the X7 series standard tractors with ProDrive PowerShift transmission. The X7 standard series is a simplified lower spec version of the X7 premium configuration. This video is going to take you through the controls and the layout of the inside cab of the X7 standard series. The tilting and telescopic steering wheel houses the main transmission control lever on the left side of the steering column. Now this orange lever is what selects the direction of travel for this tractor and it does feature a power shuttle, meaning wet multi-disc clutch and the operator never has to actually use the foot clutch to change direction. By simply lifting the lever and pressing it in the forward position, the tractor will go forward. Place, placing it in the rearmost position will send the tractor into reverse. Putting the transmission lever in the center and down is in the neutral position. At any time during operation, the operator can simply shuttle from forward to reverse and back again as easily as moving the lever. The foot clutch is not required. Now behind the steering wheel we have the front dash information center. It includes analog and an LCD display. This display is interactive and allows the operator to customize the tractor for certain applications using the buttons on either side of the front dash. Most major tractor controls are located in the right side console. They are labeled and color coded for easy identification and they are positioned for easy reach and comfortable operation. The multifunction control handle near the front of the console is a rigid handle where the operator can naturally rest his arm, kind of grab hold and place a little pressure on it, and it just makes sense for holding onto this handle while other controls are integrated into it. These controls include push buttons for easy operation of the transmission, upshift and downshift. The power shift transmission is a 24 speed transmission with four power shifts and six ranges. It is fully automated with electronic control, simple push buttons to upshift and downshift through all gears and ranges. There are two blue buttons to operate the first rear hydraulic remote valve electronically. There is a button labeled with APS for auto power shift. By engaging the auto power shift feature, the transmission will automatically shift through power shifts and ranges. Otherwise, by disengaging, it, the transmission is purely manual and the operator takes control using the transmission upshift downshift buttons. There is an engine speed management button allows the operator to program and then recall a selected engine speed, say for PTO work. There is a rear three-point hitch raise and lower button for controlling the rear three-point hitch. And a simple declutch button. If for any reason the operator wishes to clutch the tractor by simply pressing and holding that button, it does the same thing as pressing the foot clutch. It releases the engine from the transmission and when the button is released, the transmission re-engages. Other major controls are located in the right side console. These are going to include an engine speed control lever for controlling engine RPMs and setting them. At the rearmost, there are two yellow levers which will select the rear PTO speeds. The X7 standard tractors do include four rear PTO speeds. The frontmost handle selects between 540 and 1000 RPM. The rearmost handle selects between normal and economy PTO speeds. The black lever in front is a creeper range selection. It allows the operator to mechanically select an 8 to 1 creeper reduction gear that get, provides uh, low speed, high RPM for specialty applications. There are several knobs over on the right side to adjust the rear three point hitch for depth, uh, draft sensing, rate of drop, as well as maximum height for the three point hitch. Three color-coded mechanical levers in the right 
will operate the rear remote valves. So every X7 standard series has up to four rear remote valves, one electronically driven, and the three remaining are mechanical via these levers. There is a operator presence switch that can be deactivated with the press of this button so that the operator can actually do things such as run the rear PTO without having to be in the seat. It is a safety switch and does conform to OSHA standards. There is a rear differential lock button and a four wheel drive button. Allows the operator to easily engage and disengage these functions. The auto PTO function, it actually ties the PTO engagement to the rear three point hitch position. When you raise the three point hitch, the rear PTO will turn off. And when the rear three point hitch is lowered, the PTO will re engage automatically. There is also a simple rocker switch, a safety rocker switch for engaging and disengaging the rear PTO manually. A 12 volt power supply and a simple knob located right behind the multifunction control handle. This knob allows the operator to adjust the shuttle modulation, i.e. it means uh, when the operator shuttles from forward to reverse, how aggressively does the transmission engage gears and uh, disengage gears to go from forward to reverse. Those are the major controls of the X7 Standard Series with ProDrive Transmission. For more information about these tractors, please visit our website at www.mccormicna.com.